Hello friends, this video on application of derivatives part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 11. Let's take one more example. Here we have to find the slope of the normal. Please note, here instead of tangent, I am finding slope of normal to this curve. And the curve is x is equal to a cos cube theta and y is equal to a sin cube theta at theta is equal to pi by 4. Now, if you know, if this is the case, my slope of normal is nothing but minus 1 by dy by dx, correct? At theta is equal to pi by 4. Correct? Because this is nothing but f dash x. So my normal is minus 1 by dy by dx by where theta is equal to pi by 4. So I have to find dy by dx. Since I know that x and y are dependent but not directly dependent, they are dependent on theta. So they are dependent. So how to find dy by dx in such case? So in such case we first find dx by d theta and then we find dy by d theta and then we divide to find dy by dx. If you don't know, if you're not understanding this, please watch the, deriv uh, the derivative chapter where we explain such kind of questions, how to find uh, the derivative of equations where x and y are indirectly dependent. So let's find both the values dx by d theta and dy by dx. So if my x is equal to a cos squared theta, my dx by d theta will be nothing but a constant cos cube will become 3 cos square theta and again cos I have to differentiate this will become minus sine theta correct this will be my dx by d theta similarly if my y is equal to a sine cube theta if you see here y is nothing but a sine cube theta so here my dy by d theta is nothing but a into sine cube theta will become 3 sin square theta and sin theta again you have to differentiate this becomes cos theta. So all chain rule. If you are not understanding this please watch the previous chapter where we have explained how to find derivatives. So I have dx by d theta and dy by d theta. The reason why we found these was because we wanted to find dy by dx. So dy by dx is nothing but dy by d theta divided by dx by d theta. And that is nothing but a into 3 sin square theta into cos theta by a into 3 cos square theta into minus sin theta. a a cancel, 3 3 cancel, sin square theta and sin theta cancel and again cos into cos square cancel. So what I am left is minus sin theta by cos theta and that is nothing but minus tan theta. That is the value of dy by dx because I need dy by dx here. Now the same formula I apply. Slope of normal is nothing but minus 1 by dy by dx that is again minus tan theta where theta is equal to pi by 4 minus minus cancels so that is cot theta and cot theta is pi by 4 it is cot pi by 4 and cot pi by 4 is nothing but 1 we know and that is my answer so slope of normal of this curve at theta is equal to pi by 4 is 1 correct so what we have done we had this equation x and y which are indirectly linked with theta so we found dx by d theta and dy by d theta then we found dy by dx because we wanted to find slope of normal and slope of normal is nothing but minus 1 by dy by dx. Let's take one more example. Here we have to find the points at which tangent to the curve this is parallel to x itself. So it is saying that my tangent is parallel to x axis. That means my tangent slope is 0. 
how I found this? Since my tangent is parallel to x-axis, that clearly means my tangent slope is zero. Because any line that is parallel to x-axis, the slope is always zero. Correct? If my slope is infinity, that means the line is parallel to y-axis, like this. If my slope is zero, that means the line is parallel to x-axis. The question says the tangent is parallel to x-axis. So slope of tangent is zero. That is something we know. Now we have to find the point at which slope is zero, tangent slope is zero for this curve. So my slope of tangent is nothing but dy by dx at x is equal to x naught. So let's find by dy by dx. x cube becomes 3x square when you say dy by dx. 3x square becomes 3 into 2x. 9x becomes 9 and 7 becomes 0. So this is my dy by dx. Correct? And x is equal to x naught is my tangent slope and that is 0. So let's put x equal to x naught. You get 3x naught square minus 6x naught minus 9 is equal to 0. Let's take 3 common. So they become 3 into x naught square minus 2x naught minus 3 is equal to 0. Let's factorize this. So this becomes x naught square minus 3x naught plus x naught. This becomes 2x naught minus 3 is equal to 0. And this is nothing but x naught minus 3 into x naught plus 1 is equal to 0. So if you solve this, x naught is equal to 3 or minus 1. So I have two possible values of x naught for which my tangent is parallel to x axis. But I am asked the point, that means I need to find y also. So in case 1, my x naught is equal to 3, I will find y. y is nothing but x cube, that is 3 cube minus 3 into x square, 3 into 3 square, minus 9x, 9 into 3, plus 7, plus 7. Correct. If you solve this, this comes out to be this 3 cube and 3 cube cancel. 9 into 3 is minus 27, plus 27, that is minus 20. So my first point is 3 comma minus 20. Correct. Where x is 3 and y is minus 20. Second is x naught is minus 1. So here y will come out to be x cube that is minus 1 to the power cube minus 3x square 3 into minus 1 square minus 9x 9 into minus 1 plus 7. So it becomes minus 1. This becomes minus 3. Correct. And this becomes plus 9. That is minus, let me write minus 1 plus 3, this becomes plus 9 and it becomes plus 7. So it is 9 plus 7 is 16 and it's a minus 3 actually. 16 minus 4, that is 12. So 12 is my point. So the next point is minus 1 and 12. So these are my two points and that is my answer. So what I have done, I was told to find the points at which the tangent is 0, slope of the tangent is 0. I wrote the formula of slope of tangent. Correct. I got this value as and, and I equated that guy to be 0 because I am told that slope of tangent is 0. I found the probable values of x to be 3 and minus 1. Since I was asked the points, that means I was asked the values of x and y, not only x. So I found the value of y in both the cases and I got the answer to be 3 comma minus 28 minus 1 comma 12. Let's take one more example. This is again a little different example. Please note, we have to find the point at which the curve this, at which the tangent is parallel to the chord joining this and this. Slope of tangent is given. It is not zero in this case now. It has some values. And again, similar to last question, the last question, the slope of tangent was zero because it was parallel to x axis. In this question, if you see, this tangent is parallel to the chord joining this point. So this is something like this. I have some curve and this is a chord joining this point and this point. 
correct so if these two are the points and it makes a line the question says i have to find a point x y here see this guy is 2 comma 0 and this guy is 4 comma 4 given let's suppose there's a chord that you can make from this and the question says you find a point x y where this tangent is parallel to this chord so if you can find the slope of the chord that will become slope of tangent correct so first thing is let's find the slope of the chord so if i have two points like this the slope is nothing but slope of chord will be nothing but y2 minus i know this if i have two point y2 y1 x2 y x1 the slope is nothing but y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 correct if i have any two line and if i have x1 y1 and x2 y2 be the two point the slope will be y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 so this guy is my x1 y1 this guy is x2 y2 so y2 is 4 4 y1 is 0 minus 0 x2 is 4 and x1 is 2 so this become 4 by 2 that is 2 correct this is my slope so if this is the slope of the chord i am told that the tangent is parallel to the chord so i can say that slope of tangent is nothing but is equal to slope of chord and that is equal to 2. Why? Because this is my chord and this is my tangent and both are parallel, slope will be equal. So I have got slope of my tangent. And slope of my tangent is nothing but dy by dx at x is equal to x0. And this is equal to 2. I have to find the value of x0. So dy by dx in this case, if y is equal to x minus 2 square, that is nothing but if you expand this or dy by dx is nothing but 2 into x minus 2. Correct. So my dy by dx is nothing but 2 into x minus 2. And this at x is equal to x0 is equal to 2. So let me put x is equal to x0. So this becomes 2 into x0 minus 2 is equal to 2. 2 to cancel, this becomes 1. So I get x0 is equal to 1 plus 2 that is 3. So my value of x0 is 3. If my value of x0 is 3, I have to find the value of y0 also. So y0 is nothing but x0 minus 2 square. Correct? y0 is nothing but x0 minus 2 square. So this is nothing but 3 minus 2 square that is 1 square that is 1. So my value of x0 and y0 for which this is true is 3 comma 1 correct at 3 comma 1 the tangent to this curve will be parallel to this chord correct thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again